what we've been seeing more of over the last sort of 10 years are children and young people that are coming to us with uh, visual impairment caused by problems with how their brain processes their vision essentially and that can be caused by a whole number of different reasons and the specific problem that we're trying to work with here are people who have something called visual field loss so we've been working on the Islander project for the last four and a half years we started with training for stroke patients um, and tried to gamify that, make it more fun um, so that children and young people who have similar conditions can benefit from that training. And for the last six months we've been working with the Tech for Good funding to make this online and accessible to a wider audience. The original training was really, really boring and required a lot of time commitment. So we decided that we wanted to make the training interactive, we wanted to make it engaging, um, particularly for a young audience. So it felt obvious to us that we should develop a video game. We have three manual settings that are based on the visual, cognitive and physical abilities of the players. These are the size of the objects on the screen, how many objects that we display, the maximum number of objects we display, uh, and also the maximum amount of time that they can respond in. Having a professional game development company work with us and have that interaction where we have the specialist knowledge that this is what's accessible, this is what we think is challenging, this is what's going to promote the therapeutic behaviour, and they can uh, come up with some of the creative elements that they want to introduce. And, and to have that conversation where you've got two very different types of expertise working together on the same project has been really great. In the game environment, we want to merge fun things with things that are good for you.